So good morning everyone, this is Yash. Uh, this is another one of my videos of me learning Ruby on Rails. So um, I have, I'm having a display of my new application on localhost 3000, which is uh, basically a Pinterest clone. So I learned this from one of the online tutorials and this application seems very good thing to start with um, so these are the pins that I made earlier from my account I'll show you how this works uh, if you have used Pinterest before then you'll see a lot of similarity in this so I'll click on sign in uh, this has my ID and password saved so I'll just log in so sign in successfully so here's an option called new pin in which I can just click on new pin I can choose a file for the image um, I'll just pick up one of the images ok let's say I'll pick up this one this is the logo for vision so I'll write the title here and we'll move to the description Okay, so I'll just try to create a new pin. So it says pin was successfully created. You'll see an image here. Uh, you'll see a, a title and a description. Also, you'll see a, a submitted by. So this is submitted by my ID, and uh, you can also have like. And because this is my ID, I can edit and delete this. So I just go to the pin board now and I'll try to refresh this so okay so you can see this Pinterest uh, look that I've got here uh, these were the posts that I've uh, made earlier so this is a common uh, portal which can be compared to the uh, home page of Pinterest in which you see pins from uh, various people so I'll just try to sign out and this is the home screen actually so the home screen houses all the posts which are made by various people who have signed up for this uh, website so i'll just try to create a new account um, Okay, so now that I've created a new account, I can create a new pin. Uh, note that I am logged with the email id sherry.yash at the gmail.com. Uh, so I'll just look for something maybe on the desktop. Okay, I don't have much images, but I'll just try to. Hmm. Yeah. Mm, I don't know what this image is. I'll just type wallpaper. Uh, simple wallpaper. Okay, I'll now create a pen. So this is the image. This is the heading, and as you know, the wallpaper to display this is the description and we have created this pin successfully now we'll go back to pin board okay now you can see uh, this is posted by me from this id and these were the posts which are which were there earlier so as you can see this creates a pinterest like tabular uh, form of three columns and arrangement is accordingly and uh, uh, people can post their pins in 
this way so if you just go to this you can see the whole thing and uh, now that I am logged in uh, via the other ID this is the initial ID that I use I can also like this so now it has two likes uh, it's the same way so this is how this works uh, this is pretty much how Pinterest works Pinterest also offers a search button in which you can search for particular types of posts so that could also be integrated uh, in the sense that you can add tags while you are uh, adding description to it so you can have another input field called tags and you can have tags for it and according to the searches made by people uh, you will get the output according to the uh, associativity with the tags so that is also a simple concept to implement uh, I try to think of implementing but I think uh, this is uh, pretty good for the start um, I'm working on Rails on another project uh, which is a podcast network so I'll be uh, sharing that video soon uh, I think Rails is also a good language if you're trying to learn more about frameworks though I would prefer Django and Node.js uh, as a primary framework to develop on but still Rails offers quite a few features uh, which can be interesting to you and they also host a lot of gems uh, just like uh, we have packages in pip so i think rails is also a good language to learn and i think you should give it a try uh, for more videos please stay tuned thank you